Hey everyone, Aussie Viking here to do an unboxing of the new graphics card which I'm very, very happy and excited about because um, it's the GTX 1070 which is my first ever graphics card I've ever bought, ever. Now, I got pretty lucky with this, alright? So, being in Australia, we haven't got good prices when it comes to graphics cards and all that and anything really. And a GDX 1070, especially the version I got, is usually $730 to $770. I got this for $630. I saved $100 plus on this, thanks to, I guess, some luck. So, And shopping online, which is nice. So let's open this up, because I got it from Newegg, as you can see. Newegg. And let's go and get the thing to open it. Now... I am hoping that this all works. Really hoping. That once I have... Well, uh, I would assume that when my friend comes and helps uh, me install it, because he knows how to do it, because he builds computers every now and then. And if it works properly, then you'll be seeing a lot more videos from me giving you a lot more content. <laughs> I'm actually working on a video about how bad my last G um, graphics card is, which is NVIDIA. And uh, I'm going to put that video on, make that video, so show games before and after, you know, with a new GPU. So, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. $424. Oh, that must have been American. In America, it's 424 but in Australia, it's about 500 Oh. There it is. My first ever gaming card that I've ever bought. Also, that's always fun. <clears throat> so it's VR ready, which is nice, even though I'm gonna get a VR PlayStation. So, exclusive invite code, 15 day premium warship thing. Okay, whatever. So, that's the front, that's the back, we will auto tech stuff, which I have no really what to do. X split game caster, eh. oh that's game, that's overclocking and shit, so that's alright. 8 gigabyte GDR5 memory, very fast and very awesome, especially compared to my last one. So now we do this unbox thing. I don't want to go too crazy with opening it up because I don't really want to lose or break anything. I hope I don't. Ah, got that. Strix Gaming Graphics Card. This is the black box. Um, probably got it upside down. Yes. It's in Strix. Okay, that's cool. So, you got that now. Just put that down a bit more. Awesome. So, let's have a look here. I would assume this is a whole lot of goody stuff. Looks like something out of Deus Ex, which is quite funny. So let's see. We've got a speed setup, which has probably had overclock, I would assume. Uh, graphics card stuff. CD. A code thing. So. And then these straps, which I have no idea what they do. Well, I know is that there's a graphics card here. Which is underneath this. <clears throat> wow, my uh, <clears throat> throat's going a bit weird. So there it is. I'm, gonna... I'm not gonna take it out of its wrapper just yet. I don't actually wanna take it out of its wrapper until I've actually gotten it in there. So, but there it is, it'll in its glory. All the fans, and yeah, a new GPU, which should fit very nicely into my computer. 
So yeah, there it is. My first ever graphics card that is, from what I understand, a beast. And should give me years and years of positives. Although I'm not trying to become, a, I, I'm not trying to become like a insanely awesome PC gamer. That this is just good for editing, game footage, and so on and so forth. Since a 36 gig get RAM, i7 CPU, this GPU, a fairly okay motherboard, and yeah. So that's Aussie Viking out with his first ever PC unboxing. Joining the master race, even though I really hope I don't become one of those assholes that are just too much like the master race. But yeah, that's Aussie Viking out. I shall see you all in Valhalla. Bye. Game of Thrones, one of the biggest fantasy worlds out there today. Full of political intrigue, blood and gore, death, magic, more death. Everything a good show needs.